for this is a Dohiku barbless jig hook. So these are the ones that uh, all the guys in tournaments, well, maybe not this brand, but the style the guys in tournaments like to use because of the... Uh, pull, pull it against the vice. The eye. There? There we go. Yeah. A little, a little bit better. Nope. Oh, there, there, there we go. Um, so it's 60 degree eye. Barbless bead on this is... Um, you can use any color. Um, I found hot orange and white for this. White tended to be the pink worked well as well, but um, something about that orange orange bead really seemed to get them going. Uh, this I'm gonna actually put in the hook a bit of a downward angle on the uh, the hook shank just to get the tail at a bit of a better angle. Um, this guy doesn't uh, doesn't sit level in the water, it sort of sits uh, on a, on a, your, uh, your leader, it's actually going to sit. Bring it over to the vice area. There, more like that. So the hook eye is going to be level in line with the, the mono and the hook is going to sort of stick out a little bit. Um, so I tend to tie the tail around the bend a little bit so it's a bit more horizontal and in the fish's face. Um, thread on this one, some people have scoffed at me for using it. It's 14 odd vivas. Just because it's nice and fine, it lays nice and flat and I don't know, it's the, the breaking strength on, on Vivas thread is kind of crazy. 14 is about 8 on breaking strength for a unit thread. It's, uh, it's not cheap thread, but it's, uh, I like it, it's good stuff. Tail, uh, some Nice little clump of uh, marabou. Again, I'm doing this in white, but you can um, change colors to suit. I haven't tried it in any sort of wacky color combinations like purple and purple and orange or purple and green. Um, I should. I know those colors work, but uh, kind of a case of it's not broke, don't fix it. I really like the the orange and white of this guy. Nip short and fray the tail a bit. Uh, nice some of that around. Um, we'll stick a bit of flash on this guy. With some pearl crystal flash. Don't uh, tend to go too heavy on the crystal flash on this guy. I had a, a couple more of these that I tied up that same day. And it's a lot of crystal flash versus a few strands. And again, like the, the they wanted small, slow, and subtle. The uh, too much crystal flash kind of turned them off. As soon as I changed back to the fly with a couple strands of crystal flash, they're all over it again. So all I've done is uh, two per side, just fold over a strand of crystal flash, tie it in, help it behaves. Pearl ice dub. It went quite so flashy. You could just go with just the 
regular pearl ice dub or rabbit. Some pearl mylar I'll use for the rib on it. Supposedly when the, it's a silver or gold again, it's all I'm doing is catching it under the thread as opposed to trying to trap the tag end of it down with uh, with thread is a bit a bit quicker and a bit easier. No dubbing. Some wax. You really want to go sparse with this stuff. Um, half of that. I've already got a white sort of a white thread base on there, so I'm not too worried about really covering the hook too well. I'm just trying to get a, a nice body going on it. Some flash, nice and buggy. And a bit of a taper on it. And I'll stop, yeah, about there. Short of the uh, short of the body. Or short of the, the bead rather. Some of the dubbing out from underneath that uh, that rib, just to get a bit of extra movement out of it. Um, put some rubber legs on this guy, and it's just silicone um, silicone skirt pads. From your local uh, conventional tackle shop. Tie that guy in relatively short. So the back leg on this guy, I've tied a little bit longer than the front. Seems to be a little bit stiffer than the uh, uh, skirting stuff that you buy. Or As in, like it's sitting. the rubber skirt? Yeah, yeah. Like the the round rubber, like the latex yeah. stuff. It is a bit stiffer, yeah, yeah. George. It's just kind of nice. It doesn't go all over the place on you. Exactly. Yeah. Got them. Sort of on the sides, a little bit on the sides, a little bit to the bottom of the. This would be the bottom, bottom of the hook, um, just so they hang down a little bit, a bit more movement, less in line with the um, the tail. Wax and a little bit more dubbing. I'm ready to put too much on there. We'll see. Be all right. I find once you get the dubbing in there, uh, adjust those front legs a little bit. Cement. Just throw it on the, the thread as opposed to trying to uh, 
direct it onto your thread wraps after you've got the head tied. It will soak in. That's that guy. Oh, cool. Give him a pass around. Um.